just like the rest of the Thor construction. It's good. <laughs> I mean, a few slashes on the arm and some blood, but I made it. And uh, powered up. And hopefully we don't blow anything up when we do that. That is so cool. Hopefully I don't screw this up. Don't mind me, nothing to see here. That was a little more difficult than I expected. Well, I wouldn't call it an epic fail, but we didn't get it through all the way. Today we're gonna upgrade and put in this digital rear view mirror, this Wolfbox 930. In addition to this digital mirror, I have this power cord kit so that we can plug it in and we don't have to use a cigarette lighter or anything like that. We just plug it in directly and power it from the van and we can hide all the cables. All right, so my question is, do you know how to do this? No, but we're gonna learn. And my other question is, we're not gonna like wreck the van installing this. No, no, no. So we will mount the camera at the back of the van, run the cable down through the van, under the bed, along the cabinets, up to the A pillar, back up over to the headliner, and then up to where the rearview mirror is. And then we run this power cord from the dash, essentially the driver's seat right there by your feet, up to this and power it. Just like that, just Simple. like. Simple. Just done. And done. Done. So we're not, to install something like this, we don't have to like, I don't know, take apart anything. It's just an easy one, two, three. We don't have to do 10, 10 runs to Home Depot. Like I'm, you were promising no. me 10 minutes flat, <laughs> this thing is installed and you're gonna show them exactly how to do it. No promises on the trip <laughs> to the hardware store, but theoretically we should be able to just fish the cable back behind everything and, and then basically plug it in. Done, done, done. So we'll see. Okay. But let's show them what's in the box. Okay. All right. So what are we unboxing here? Well, this? Yes. What's in the what's in the bag? Dun dun dun. I have no idea what this is. Okay. So this is what get gets plugged into the like the display, and this is what's get. Ugh. This gets plugged into the display. And this is what gets kind of down into the fuse block. Okay. So it's powered Bob all the time. Bob said display fuse box. Okay. If that makes sense to you. Not to me. Okay. So let's open up the box here. It looks intense. So this is the display. It essentially will strap on to the existing uh, rear view mirror. Okay. If we like this and it works out well, there is a little kit that will replace the bracket so we don't have the straps but you essentially can put your SD card in here. You've got power, you've got uh, the camera. Voila. And then there's also a camera here so that when you're driving, Oh, and here's the recording. other camera. Yes. You're not gonna be able to see this yet, but there's a little camera here. You've got the front facing camera, the rear view camera, and then all of your power cord. All right. So let's get I'm, started. I'm as excited as them to see if this can actually <laughs> happen. Oh, it's gonna happen. All right, let's go. Oh, good thing this is long. I was worried this might not be long enough, but I think we're gonna be plenty long. I am curious, what is this? So I'm thinking I'm gonna have to go get the manual because I was sitting on top of the box. I took it out. Okay, I'll keep them entertained. Guess what we get to put on our van? Our registration tags. I have two questions for you. The first question is, where you live, do you call it a tag? or a tab. We call it a tag, but I've heard other people call it a tab. So I'd love to know. Second question is how much have you, if you, if you have a van, how much have you paid for your registration and what state you're from? What we paid for our Arizona tags, $1,701.72. Cha chain. That one hurt. So what we're gonna do is mount this pretty much like that. Okay, and I'm gonna probably have to drill a small little hole. No, God, please, no, no! What, what, you told me? None but of that was gonna happen. I gotta take this apart, put this like that. I might be able to squeeze it in there, I don't know, I gotta check and see. Okay. But that's gonna go there, and then we'll fish this cable inside this little column right here. I took this light off, and then we're going to follow this all the way down through there. We're gonna come down this pillar 
go back behind this cabinet and there's a big open spot I can show you guys. And then we'll pop on the other side of the bathroom and use the cassette toilet to get the cable behind that. Then we'll come underneath this seat and you basically can access it through the front all the way down there. Bring it all the way to this back side. Take that little black piece off right there and then go up the B pillar, over the driver's seat, around the bend to right there. So that's all we have to do. Just those few little simple things, fishing that wire around. Wish me luck, because I'm going to need it. Good luck. Perfect. All right, let me go get the little sticky pad, put it on the bottom. Screw it down. Okay, I'm gonna clean this little spot so that the glue sticks nice. That is now the cleanest spot in the van. <laughs> Hopefully I don't screw this up. How would you know where you would want it? Well, you just have to guess. I would think you would mount the front one first and then see what it's looking at. I can always move it if I had to. Okay. I'm gonna take your advice and I'm not, I'll just stick it. I won't actually screw it down. Until you're for sure that's where you want it? Yeah, in case we... Because okay. I don't know where it's going to be looking. Exactly, and, and that's what I'm hold, saying. Hold on, hold on. Now that you said that, I need to shut this door because I want to make sure that A... <gasps> Does it hit it? It would. Oh. So what's that mean? That means it has to go like way out here on the end. Kind of like that. Yeah. Or up top. Oh no. I almost think it has to go like right there. Because you don't want to be having to slowly shut the door every time. But now my cable looks all terrible. Well, just temporarily do that. It's a temporary thing until you get everything else set. So we actually used the. Oh, I just turned it off. We just used the original like power cord that came with it and plugged it in and temporaried it up so we could kind of see what it's looking at. This way we can kind of know like where does it fit, the angle, all that kind of good stuff. So this is what we're looking at right now. So it's looking like it's pointed down too much. Oh yeah, it's, it's looking at the road. So okay, what do you see right there? Um, Your hand and the sidewalk and the road i don't see like if you want to see cars behind you it needs to go up more first All right uh the air conditioner is really loud yeah sorry for the loudness but it's hot uh we have so the air on okay we got everything kind of situated and mounted the way we wanted i had to twist the bracket around turn it around ended up mounting it upside down and then we'll just change the settings inside the head unit so now i just need to widen this hole a little bit so that we can get our cable through. This. What? So, Bob McCaskey. Don't mind me, nothing to see here. Look, cable right there. Ran it up over the top so it will keep it tight against the roof there. Okay. I'm going to put a big screw back in on this side. And then run the wire. We have a little bit of a challenge on our hands. We have to figure out how to make that turn. And do you think you have enough wire? I don't know, if I'm being honest. I'm very hopeful that I have enough. All right. All right. Got my coat hanger, taped it on. Just need to fish it around that corner now. Up and Bob. I kind of got my whole hand in this little hole and didn't want to come out. Like you really thought your hand was stuck. I yeah, I was thinking like call the fire department kind of stuck. <laughs> okay, so okay. Catch them up. Where are we at? We got the camera attached. The wire ran through, through the van into the inside, down around this pillar, 
back out to this hole here. Okay. So now we can make the transition underneath the bed and up to the front of the van. We are fishing this into the, we're behind the water tank and I can't get my hand in there. Okay. okay. And, and, <laughs> yes, you did success. It. You did it. That was a little more difficult than I expected. He did get his hand stuck again. Okay. I gotta go take the cassette toilet out and then fish it around that so we can get up to the front. Thankfully it's empty. But you can see right here, there's this little plastic piece up here. We're gonna go up and over the top <laughs> and we'll zip tie it. There's a couple of cables we can get it through there. So I'm gonna go push it through this side. So you stay right here, catch it. Okay. See, that was easy. Now, all you gotta do is go in to the extra seat that's right here, open up that door underneath, and I'm gonna try to push this to you. Oh, you want me inside? Yeah. Wait, what am I doing? Catching this inside. I thought you were telling them, not me. Well, I'm telling both of you. Go. Gotcha. Hold on. Stay right here. I have to go under. Uh, once again, I don't see anything. I don't see what he's saying. Where am I supposed to be looking? Wait. I'm looking in here. Oh, goodness. Um, it's a little more cramped than I expected. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't call it an epic fail, but we didn't get it through all the way. We only got to right here. So here's the cable. We did get it from the back of the van, across the top, down the column, across the bottom, and basically up to the third passenger seat. But we still have to go across the bottom, up the B pillar to the mirror. And this isn't enough slack. We're gonna, I'm just gonna order another like cable extension and probably should test it to make sure that works before we run it. But uh, I guess we'll have to wait until we get that. All right, we'll see you guys in a minute or a week or yeah, something. Several days later. All right, it's been a couple of days. I ordered a 16 foot extension cable. So it has a female end on one end and a male end on the other. We can use this to connect to the display and then we'll run the cable back down to the other piece that's inside the van that we pulled and we'll plug it in there. And then we should be done. We'll see. First thing I'm gonna do is actually plug this into here. I'm gonna build a nice little wire loom so it's in all one little like cable that I can pull. And then I'm gonna work backwards from the dash to the back. So let's get started. My coffee hasn't quite kicked in yet. <laughs> what time is it? It is, really? It's 6.45 in the morning. It's already 70 degrees. It's gonna be a hot day today. So I think these are the right ones. I'm gonna just hook these and go around the camera lens and put this on so we know where our starting point is. Okay. All right, so I plugged it in, just our temporary power here. Plugged it in and checked it, and then I was able to go into the settings really quick and flipped it around. Oops. And now this is your view. So I got to go adjust the camera to make sure the angle's right, but it looks like it's pointing in the wrong direction, maybe. We'll be, I'm going to start working on this headliner to get the cables back up behind there. And I think I'm going to probably come down this side to try to come down this pillar, come into here to get my power. And then I'm going to have to figure out what to do with the cable because I got to get the cable back across this side. Just took the little bracket for the sun visor off. So more complicated than it needs to be in my opinion, but got it off. Now what? Um, now there's like, uh, like 10 
Allen bolts that I just need to take off uh, that are holding this on. And we should have some good access after that. Woulds and coulds and shoulds. Hmm. Sounds like a great project. <laughs> All right, we're close. Are you trying to take the whole thing down? Cause I feel like you can get it through now. No, well, actually that might actually work. Yeah. I can feed it as long as I can get these cables back behind there. Well, instead of taking the whole headliner off, I just loosened this bracket and just stuck the cable kind of right along the top there. And then we'll make the transition, hopefully, down this side. All right. All right, let's put this back together. Okay. So what I want to do is take this piece off so that I can fish this down into the dash. Kind of yeah. like that. Oh. Lovely, that got me nowhere. I was hoping hoping there'd be a clear path. I've made a huge mess. Almost done. <laughs> no, I have to be careful because there's an airbag right here, but I've got a way to run the cable across the back of it. I just need to get from here to here. So, wish me luck. One hour later. What's going on up here? Actually, I've made some really good progress. So I started here. I ran the cables from here. Basically loosened this, put them back behind this so they run across the top. So you can see just the tiniest little bit of cable right there. Mm -hmm. This is for the GPS. I actually am going to stick this back right here because it says up. So I'm going to stick that here and then put this cable back up there. So good idea, Hillary, for not... Uh, having me put all those bolts in. Yeah, yeah, I don't sure know if I that was on camera, but I told him, do not fully put that back. Just put two bolts You're in right. case you have to take it back down. And then here, there's an airbag. So I had to be extremely careful. I stayed to the other side. So what all I did was I fed the cable down the back side of this and I secured it so it's not in the anywhere near the airbag. Then basically ran down back behind this which was a uh, lot of cussing and swearing but i made it down there <laughs> and i just fed the wire through there so then i've got my video cable here which will go across the back and then tie into the existing cable my power comes into here and i got to figure out where to land it so this is my my power and now i just need to put all this fun stuff back together so you're happy well, it's not done yet. Are all the hard parts done? No. When when this cable is connected, then the hard parts will be done. Okay. But until then, <laughs> we shall continue. Oh, no. What? Oh, no. What? What's oh, no? There's a plastic clip that I can't find. Where'd it go? Did you see it fall off? Yeah, there's one right there. Grab it. Reach down into that dark hole. <laughs> this clip? Yeah. It goes on the back of this. You literally are disassembling our van. What's that movie? No, disassemble. Short circuit. No, disassemble, Bob. No, Johnny disassemble. Five. Disassemble Johnny Five. Okay. So the cable comes from behind the dash, down around, under here. And then I need to make the transition under this little bracket but this is in the way so i have to fish the cable underneath to get underneath the floor if you can barely see that to get to the back of the van this is going to be like a 50 minute video didn't we say at the beginning of this video this was going to be a super easy fast project no this is taking days and hours and hours. I mean, I gotta give it to Bob. He is working his booty off and doing a good job, but I hope this is worth it, to be honest. All in the name of safety. <laughs> All in the name of safety? It'll be worth it? Yeah. 
What's the safety piece? We're making the van safer to drive. Now I can see behind me. Okay. Look how good this looks. <laughs> He's so proud of himself right now. I mean, this is the state of the van right now. <laughs> you know, this is real life. I mean, it's like I was never there. I mean, it's dirty, but you know, yeah. it was dirty before I got here. We need to clean our van. I mean, I don't know if the camera is picking it up, but our windows, our van is so dirty. I hate to say it, but if I took this panel off, I could reach across the back to get the wire right there. Well, that was easy. Did, did you get it? I got it. Got it. I mean, a few slashes on the arm and some blood, but I made it. <laughs> Bam. That's Would what we've been waiting for. All right. Just, just like the rest of the Thor construction. It's good. <laughs> sorry, Thor. Mm. Sorry, not sorry. And all we have to do is take the headliner off, mount the GPS, and uh, power it up. And hopefully we don't blow anything up when we do that. Is that an option? It's always an option in Mr. Lemon. <laughs> That's probably true. Look what I made. So it's official. We've named the van. Mr. Lemon. Oh. So, should we put it right here? Perfect. He has a name. Not the name we would have liked to have chosen, but I'm pretty sure he's gonna live up to it. And let's be honest, vans name themselves. What can we say, Mr. Lemon? All right, got all that put back together. Almost done. Almost. This is the power connectors that we basically pulled from the top and ran around. Now we just need to put them into the fuse box right here underneath the driver's seat, or by your driver's leg, I guess, and then test it. That's so the next step. That's the next step. You have everything put back together, but one thing. Everything put back together, except for the cover for the fuse panel. Okay. I need power for one and B plus. Anybody know what those mean? See, I think I can just doop and doop. So why don't you do that? Um, what I should do is probably go look at the instructions and make sure I know which one's which. Okay, sounds right. All right, we made a trip to the automotive store. I got two of these. What it is, is a, I think they call it a piggyback. Um, I've also heard it refused to as a fuse tap. But we can pull an existing fuse, plug this in. The first set of prongs is where you put the original fuse and then we'll put the, uh, the backup camera fuses in the other side. What I'm curious on is if I have to cut the like connector that's came with the camera or, and then like crimp it on here, or if I can just plug it in there. So I gotta do some testing. Because you, what because what you were doing did not work. Yeah, there, I thought there would be more like, there's open fuse, like spots on the, the fuse block or whatever you wanna call that, but there's no like metal prongs behind it. So when you push them in there, there's no resistance. So they're not actually plugged into anything. So they're, they're not wired. So, this is the next best option. Grab the this one. Pull that fuse. Red. All right. You did it. This would be great news. I'd have to. I gotta pull one more fuse. I have enough gas, right? Here. Okay. I have to put this fuse back in, and then I can actually like close this up. And it's working. It's working. So are we officially done? Let's see. I do think we've got a little bit of programming that we need to do on this unit just to make sure that it's working properly. What is that? What? what oh, that's the front view. Oh, funny. You could do a front view? 
and then it's split so you can see front and back no then you can see just the back just the front that is so cool okay so far what are we thinking it's good i just need to spend a little bit of time like programming it it's kind of stuck on north so i have to figure out why it only shows that we're headed north i'm sure that there's a gps setting in here so i just got to go and play with the settings and figure that out i just okay. don't want to hit anybody we did our test drive and i have to say i'm actually pretty impressed with this unit it exceeds my expectations so a couple things that we had to do we had to go into the settings um, and flip the camera image because the way I had to mount it with the the doors and what they the way that they swing open, um, I had to flip it upside down. So I had to change it, and then I also had to reverse it side to side because obviously when you flip it upside down, it was defaulted that way. But we went into all the other settings, got everything dialed in. It looks really nice. I'm pretty impressed. You're happy you did I, it. I am very happy. Quite a bit of work. Quite a bit of work. You, you, and with a van, you need a couple of extra parts. You know, the longer, um, what did they call that? The rear view camera extension cable, and then some of the piggybacks for the electrical stuff. But outside of that, I mean, a pretty straightforward install, and I would definitely recommend doing it. It makes it so much nicer being able to see what's behind you. Before, this was pretty much worthless. All you had was the side mirrors. So now I can actually see what's going on. We're gonna close the video out. Um, if you've made it this far, thank you. You guys will know that we actually are getting a fix to our battery issue very soon. And maybe, I'm excited. Yeah, maybe even this week. So stay tuned for that. I think everything's going to be good. I think we're going to be good and travel and yeah, we're, we're going to get to travel and do summer stuff. And yeah, we're just going to be able to make lemonade with Mr. Lemon. With Mr. Lemon. <laughs> All right. Till next time. Bye guys. Bye guys. Bye.